Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We are talking icons specifically today, and icon moments, because those cards are coming very soon in FIFA Ultimate Team, and I'm going to talk about how they're going to impact the market. Just like Prime Icons did in December, icon moments are going to be introduced onto the game this year in a few weeks, either this Friday, next Friday, or both. And they're going to impact the market because a lot of these icon moments, it's going to even be bigger fluctuations and bigger price movements than we saw with prime icons in December. Because these icon moments cards have dynamic images. They have insane boosted stats if they do it like they did last year in FIFA 20. And um, there's new icons this year, right? Puskas, you've got Fernando Torres, you've got Eto, Lam, Schweinsteiger, and we all are very curious to know what their Prime Icon Moments cards are going to look like. Last year, we even had Icon Moments cards with weak foot upgrades. Rush had a weak foot upgrade on his Icon Moments over uh, his other cards that were in the game. So specifically talking about the market as well, I want to talk about how these guys are going to be really expensive day one. They're going to be supplied um, not a lot, but a lot of people are going to want to try and get them, especially with the way the market is right now, with a lot of these prime icons being more expensive than they ever have been uh, in past FIFAs with so many more coins in the game this year. I just want to talk us through how these cards might react a little bit differently this year and how the prime icon moments could be even more expensive this year than last year and what their movements could be day one because there's going to be a lot of stuff going on and of course the mid icons are going out of packs as well we have to talk about are they going to be rising out of packs with the amount of coins in the market again this year but we're also in the second half of the game where a lot of cards just continue to slide downward in price so we'll kind of talk through some of those things as well in the video but first of all I just want to again remind you of what happens on day one when you have crazy new icons that are in packs, they're brand new, they don't have a lot of supply. I want to show you some of the crazy prices that you might see. This is from my video last year when Icon Moments came out. Carl, Carlos Puyol, Icon Moments card, 1.7 million coins is what this card was selling at last year. I think even later in the video, um, I, I mentioned that a prime Icon Moments uh, like Thierry Henry or something like that had sold for crazy high amounts. Oh, it was a prime Icon Moments Rio. It was a prime Icon Moments Rio last year from uh, FIFA 20 that sold for um, a crazy, crazy price. Six million coins for a prime Icon Moments Rio. So... Let's take a look at some of these FIFA 20 icons and some of the FIFA 21 icons and again talk about how you're going to see these movements happen on day one. Like, like we do see here, right? Like I showed you the, 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 the Puyol, right? 1.7 million coins. I actually traded with Puyol this year when Prime Icons came out because what happens is, and this is the number one thing I want to talk about too, when these Prime Icon moments are going to come out on the market, everybody's going to be oohing and on over the the uh, the upgrades, how good they look, the position changes, maybe some of the weak foot or skill move upgrades. The people that have very high coin balances are going to be involved in this. And it's also just really cool for the whole entire market as a whole. A lot of you guys may not have the coin budgets to mess around with Icon Moments cards where you think they're going to be crazy, crazy high value. But I also remember last year in FIFA 20 where I was trading with a Prime Icon Moments um, um, Clivert and Prime Icon Moments Keen on that first weekend. And they were somewhere around like the 800,000 coin, 900,000 coin range, which a lot of people can afford and a lot of people will try to get into, especially post team of the year when this market has a lot of coins. But I want to share my specific experience with this Carlos Puyol card from earlier this year on the Prime Icon release date. I bought a Carlos Puyol at 1 million coins flat on the Friday when they released these guys into packs on the second lightning round because I watched the Carlos Puyol sell for 1.2 million coins during the first lightning round. So what happened was I bought this card at a mill, thought I was going to get the quick flip at about 1.15 and what actually happened was the undercuts kept coming in because this guy, yes, he was brand new and he was a new icon and uh you know, it was very overpriced for where his card is now and for his card would be, but that's the potential flips that you have. Now, for me, it didn't work out. I ended, sell I ended up selling for like 850,000 coins. I lost big that day on that Carlos Puyol, but there were also big time flips. People were buying like prime 
Eto. I remember. Um, I almost typed in Prime, not Eto. People were buying these Prime icons for crazy prices, but also flipping them for even crazier prices. And I want to talk about what happens in those first couple of hours because, just like we see with promo cards, on a Friday, what I, you know, EA is always kind of messing with the pack weight, and especially with icons, it feels like EA is just kind of introducing them onto the market. I wish we really knew where all these icons are coming from because on day one, when the new prime icons actually came out, it honestly didn't seem like all of these guys were getting packed because it seemed like their supply would come in batches, right? You know, one or two every 10 minutes and then three would come in the span of five minutes where yes, you could say somebody might have packed it and EA might have put that into somebody's account via a pack, but it also seems like some of these prime icons have a lot of supply right away just because EA wants to get them on the market and almost seems like they artificially supply them at times, but that also makes for great fluctuations on the meta icons that people wanna try out. So, like this Garincha card, right? It's 2.8 million coins. That's one of the points that I wanna make, is that day one, Icon Moments Garincha, I'm not sure what he was last year, but Icon Moments Garincha is probably gonna be absurdly expensive, uh, way crazy price. I'm, I believe last year was a 95 rated right wing, and he had a lot of hype. Brazilian links, right wing. They juice up the stats for the icon moments as well. And I just want you to know that there's going to be fluctuations on that first day that you're going to see in the first hour, right? You're going to see some stuff move up and down. You're going to see some relists happen. But then also what you're going to see is since it's a Friday on FIFA, you're going to see that stuff get rare and kind of that first hour, you might see them start at max price, get a couple listings, dip down, you'll see a couple crazy undercuts and you'll be able to actually buy on those crazy undercuts and then sell in the next 30 minutes to an hour, even minutes after with the fluctuations back up. So you kind of have to look for a few things. When you're looking at these new icon moments, when you want to trade with them day one, the ones that I would 100% keep an eye on are going to be the brand new icons this year to FIFA 21. It's risky trading, but it's fun trading. Now imagine what a prime icon moments LAM is going to look like. They can make it 93 rated and a center defensive mid card. Boost is physical up to like seven mid to high 70s. Boost is pace to possibly 90. His dribbling and passing could be up to 90 as well. That's the kind of boost that you could see on some of these icon moments. Now some people are saying, hmm, they didn't juice team of the years this year. Why would they boost icon moments? Well, icon moments are different, right? EA knows that there's a lot of coins this, on this year's game, and they know that the hype with icons this year is even higher than ever with how expensive these cards are, and that people are going to pay buku bucks for a guy like a prime moments Eto. Imagine a 93 Eto um, with even more juiced stats than this, right? Imagine like 95, 96 shooting, 97 pace, 85 passing, 93 dribbling. Stuff like that is what you could see on some of these prime icon moments and people are gonna wanna get their hands on them. Again, especially the new ones, right? Especially, I meant to type in Schweinsteiger right there, especially the brand new icons of FIFA 21, people are gonna be curious to see what their moments are. And of course, as EA has said as well, the moments items might not always be the same. Now, I, I know the Ronaldinho moments card was different from FIFA uh, 19 to FIFA 20. It might be different for Ronaldinho this year too, right? He had a 95 center attacking mid moments last year. Maybe it was 96. I kind of forget. Um, he might have a left wing prime icon moments this year. What they do is they go to a specific time in that icon's career and they make the stats based on that. So, that's one thing I really want to mention is if you do want to trade, there are going to be major, major fluctuations in the first one to three hours as they get packed, they get supplied, and then they rebound and people have coins ready and they want to try out those new icon moments. But for the rest of the market, if you don't want to do that kind of crazy trading, what's going to happen with like panic selling? What's going to happen with icons that are in packs now and their prices? I want to talk about that as well because last year, there were only like a, a couple cards that you really saw panic selling on. One of those was Maldini. This 94 Maldini last year was bouncing between like 4.4 and like 5.1 million coins. Just very, very rare card fluctuating around on the weekends and even during the week as he was very, very rare. But you see this start of decline, right? You see the start of the decline on some of these Prime Icons cards after the moments come out. Moments last year came out on February 14th. Take a look at this, right? The week before, 5 million coins dropping all the way down to 3.8 and then continually dropping throughout the rest of the year as the moments Maldini card uh, was on the market and dropping in price as well. But look at this upgrade, right? A plus one 
but he's got plus three defense, plus two pace, plus four shot, two passing, one dribbling, and two physical. That's a solid upgrade, right? Really, really solid upgrade. As you can tell, this guy was in the 13 mil range, and then, of course, continued dropping off throughout the rest of the year, seven mil, seven mil, six mil, and stuff like that. That's the normal trend for these Icon Moments cards. But right away, sometimes they're so expensive that the cards underneath them either maintain a certain price, um, like the same price, or they drop lower. Take a look at Rio Ferdinand. Now we saw what happened with Maldini, right? Maldini's card took a big hit and then kept dropping as the, the Moments card dropped. Let's take a look at Prime Rio versus Moments Rio. Prime Rio uh, on February 14th was 1.4 million coins. Prime Icon Moments Rio, when he came out, was 5 mil, dropped down to 3 mil, and then boom, the week after that, he's down to 2.6. That gap closed real quick from being like 3 million coins apart down to a million coins. So what happens? Boom. February 21st is when that gap got close. This card drops from 1.4 to 1.3, continues dropping down in the 1.2, 1.1 range as the Moments Rio drops down into the under 2 mil range. Uh, like as we get towards team of the season. So the natural trend for a lot of these icon moments is, again, a downward slope, just like it is for the prime icons right here for Rio, right? Boom, all the way down to the team of the year, rebounded a little bit, and then, of course, going into team of the season, foot birthday, actually, last year, he dropped even more. So I don't think if it's a very, very meta and a very, very popular icon, like this year in FIFA 21, um, you know, you've got guys like Eto and Cantona that are going to have their first ever Prime Icon moments, but you still have guys like Prime Butraguenyo, Prime Ferdinand again as example, Fi Prime Fernando Torres, his Icon moments card this year is going to be cracked. Uh, Desai, these cards are, are very desirable, right? People like to use these cards. Their moments ones are going to be expensive. You're probably going to see the same kind of market movement happen with these. Now, you might see panic selling on some of these cards, as we head into the actual release date, whenever these icon moments are coming out, which could be this Friday, which is why I'm trying to get you know this in your minds earlier than later, you might start to see a little bit of panic selling. But if it's a very, very meta card, like if it's a mid icon, uh, mid Cedar, for example, or even even this like prime Desai, if you would see him drop 100 or 200,000 coins heading into this Friday, if people start selling icons because they expect the icon moments to drop the price, you're going to see the prices bounce back on these primes because people on that Friday are not going to be able to afford the icon moments um, for most of these cards. Uh, yes, you could say that people would sell some cards to go buy the new moments versions, but predominantly, if it's a meta card that a lot of people like to use, it's a popular icon, then what you're going to see is a drop, a little bit of panic selling or none at all. And then that price is going to kind of stay the same until that moments card gets cheaper and just drops that card in general. So that's, I don't think you have to be really worried about selling a lot of cards before the icon moments come. The only ones that I would be a little bit worried about would be a guy like that Maldini, who's still 5 million coins this year, whose prime moments card is going to come out and be very expensive, but still probably has some room to drop. Maybe some other icons that are primes this year that are a little overpriced. Even Real Ferdinand, 1.98 million coins. He was 1.4 last year that we looked, right? Uh, Fernando Torres is 1.75. Kaká is 1.7. Carlos Alberto, 1.64. Like, a lot of these icons are still pretty expensive. And you might see, especially the ones that aren't as desirable or just people aren't willing to pay the big price for them, you might see them dip off even, like, right away or in this next week when the icon moments come. So... I know a lot, not a lot of people are thinking about icon moments right now, like, you know, 100%, but I did want to kind of mention that and those fluctuations that you could see with them. Now, mid icons, I want to talk about this a little bit too. Mid Cedor from last year, right? Even though you think, yo, mid icons going out of packs, you know, it could be a potential for these guys to rise because they get rare. In reality, what it looks like is a lot of these cards don't really rise after they go out of packs. They just become rare and they fluctuate a little bit more. Look at this Figo card, right? Goes out of packs, boom, right here, 645. He stays about the same, still dropping down like 30, 40K, but he probably just fluctuates a lot better on the market. Think about prime icons this year, right? If you like to trade, or sorry, baby icons. Base icons have gotten rare, right? They've, they've risen a lot after the team of the year promotion, which happened last year as well. They're still gonna be rare because they're out of packs and some of them are still very desirable. Some of the base icons are the best versions of that certain icon in FIFA. 
So all that's going to happen is those mid icons are going to start to get rare. They're going to be fluctuating on the market just like the babies do. And especially if it's a icon at the mid version is, um, is like the most desirable. So again, like a Seedorf card, right? This middle Seedorf is like 1.2 million coins. And the prime Seedorf, I think is like 900K. The base Seedorf is like 700K or 800K, right? So this is the most desirable version of Seedorf. And it's probably gonna stay that way. It's probably gonna stay that way. He's not, he might, he drop, he might drop a little bit, but Icon Moment Seedorf, if it's gonna be the same as last year, is probably gonna start off at like four or 5 million coins, then drop down in the 2 million coin range after like a couple weeks, making this card still like the best value Seedorf, I guess you could say, on the market. And of course, it's going out of pack. So again, with the amount of coins on the market this year, I think you might see some mid icons like a Seedorf, maybe a mid Makalele or mid Petite even. Some of the most, you know, meta overpowered mid icons that people like to use. If that version of that icon is one of the best, or it's at a price point where there's a lot of a gap between the mid or the prime, like Kenny Dog Leash is 1.4, 1.5 mil, but Dog Leash is prime, you really gotta shell out the big bucks for Dog Leash is prime, who's around 2.3, 2.4 million coins. So there's like a 900K price difference there that um, may cause that middle version, if that icon is so desirable and the prime doesn't drop too much to get closer to the mid, you might see that mid version kind of bounce back up a little bit. So I know that's a lot of theory, a lot of thinking about icons. Um, and again, I don't think you have to be worried about a big time crash, just maybe on some of the really, really top tier icons, um, even like Prime R9, you might see a little bit of selling on a card like this, 13 million coins right now. You might see them drop down to like 11, but Moments R9 is going to be extinct for a while, right? Moments Eusebio, probably going to be extinct for a bit. Just like last year, the Moments cards are going to come on the market. They're going to make an appearance for a tiny bit at 15 million coins for some of the best cards out there. But like Moments Puskas, man, I don't know what Moments Puskas is going to be because this guy's, you know, 3.4 million coins. But the moments version of this card is going to be, if EA juice it up, it's, it's going to be ridiculous. So I, I'm not entirely sure what some of these cards are going to look like. Or Cantona, right? A new icon this year. Fernando Torres. Again, the new icons this year in FIFA. That's like the biggest question mark for me is what are those icon moment cards going to look like? But again, day one, even that first weekend, the first couple days with these icon moments, they're going to be bouncing around a lot, right? With lightning round supply, with people trying them out and wanting to be able to play with those brand new cards, they're going to bounce around for those players that are on higher budgets. So I just want to get you prepared for that. I want you to be confident in the ability that you have to flip those icons, right? Because if you see a big undercut and it's a very popular icon and it's day one and you know that people are still going to be buying that car to try it out later that night for weekend league, don't be afraid to pull the trigger. So that's all I'm saying. Big time fluctuations. I don't think you'll see a lot of panic selling at least on most of the icons. And if you do, they should bounce back because the market's healthy. There's a lot going on and there's a lot of coins on this game too. So watch out for that later this week on the market. Now, I know that's a lot of theory and stuff again, but if you have any questions, drop them down below because icons are tricky, but they're fun and they always have value in FIFA because of their links and because they just are icons, right? They're legends of the game that are in FIFA. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.